What's up YouTube? Here today to bring you a little uh, follow-up video on my jig review. I said I'd show how to uh, fix the problems with a skirt being able to pull off. How to fix that permanently. So what we're going to do, this is the uh, Strike King hack attack jig here. You can see the skirt pulls off real easy. Especially after it's happened a couple times that that rubber collar gets stretched out a little bit and it pulls off even easier. So what we're going to do to fix this is we're going to wire tie this jig. And it's actually really easy. It takes uh, Once you get used to doing it, it takes about 20 seconds. So the first step in wire, t wire tying a already collared jig is to get it the strands in position to wire tie so trying to separate out the strands here so that the back are going to the back and the front are going to the front just like that and then this collar you can see the rubber collar on there we're just going to take that and we're going to roll it back onto itself or slide it whichever one it wants to do but usually you can get them to roll and it's a little bit easier but you just take that collar and roll it back just like that get it up out of your way you're gonna have to kinda do some little adjustments on your jig you want your strands to go about a little bit more than an inch past the bend of the hook you can see that there so the rest of these will hang down. And then this jig had the blue on top. I always like the blue on the bottom. So we're just going to go ahead and spin that. So that the blue is now on the bottom. And you got yourself a custom hack attack jig. But I want the strands to kind of separate out and be nice and pretty. Then we're going to take that and just put it in the vise just like this. So you see the jig in the vise. We're going to take a section of green floral wire, <clears throat> wire. that's what I use. You can use uh, copper wire, or see how I kind of pre-bend that so it's got a bend to it. Put it around the back just like that and do one wrap. Get your little straggler strands out of there. So that's your first wrap right there. And you simply, what I do is I take this finger and I put it behind there to kind of hold the wire. Bring this wire around, then my jig pops off. Bring that wire around, and then this top wire, this one that, this wire that's wrapping up towards the uh, shank of the hook. You just bring that around one more time, just like this. Get your sand strand set get your strands separated out. Then your jig should look like this with the wire on the bottom. Then all you simply do with that wire is you twist it. You can take, I'm just right now I'm just using a little forceps. You can just take whatever and pull down on that wire. Give it a good pull and then twist it tight. And then you can see I got a, all I can find here is a big wire cutter. I normally have a little one. But you just want to twist that, cut that wire off. And see that there in the camera. So there's about a quarter of an inch hanging down. But when you cut it, give it a little bit of a pull as you're cutting up. Just a pull and a slight twist. And that'll tighten it up even more. So then you just take your pliers and you close off your, your uh, wire. Yeah, that is what your wire looks like. Right there. 
It's uh, basically two wraps. It looks like three. You go once around the bottom, once around the, you know, after you put the wire on there. But that's a wire tie. All right. So you take your scissors and you just simply cut that collar off there. Just like that. Flip your jig back around. And then you can trim it up if you want. Because ultimately what happens if you've been fishing this for a while, you can see there's uh, strands that have been kind of pulled down or whatever because they've been loose on the collar. So I always like to give those a little bit of a trim. But, and that's the, the finished product is a hand tied hack attack jig. So, you can tell this is the one that was used in the test. It's kind of beat up, but good enough to fish. And you solved your, you'll pull the, break the strands before you pull that loose. You solved your skirt coming down problem. And it took you, once you get used to doing this, it takes you about uh, 20 seconds. But this is another one. This is a Ike's mini flip jig that didn't make it into the review. But separate the strands out just like that. So it looks just like this. And then you just take that collar. When that collar is worn, it's really easy to do. These jigs are damn near brand new so it's a little bit harder to do with them but you just take that that collar and just start rolling it back just like that right there and you will get some strands that are messed up on it but I don't consider it that big of a deal to lose a couple strands so you want your jig to look like this right here. Then you just take it and stick it in the in there. Bring your wire in. Just go around the back. Do one loop. I always keep this finger right here on the back of the wire when I'm tightening it. And what that does is when you tighten it down, it keeps all the strands it keeps it tightening in a circle so the strands stay in one spot so that's your first loop right there and you take this one that's going towards the the shaft of the hook it's on top of the jig if you have your jig in the in the vise just like me and you just go one more time around and that's it bring your jig up and just simply twist the wire then you can take your pliers I normally use a lot smaller pliers, but I can't find them right now. We'll take the forceps first. And just pull down on that wire, give it a good good pull, and then just twist it up. And then you're gonna take your uh, wire cutters And trim it so it's about hangs down about a quarter of an inch. There's going to be a little tab that hangs down. When you cut that, just put some pressure on there, and as you're cutting, kind of twist and it'll tighten that wire up even more. So you have a tag hanging off just like this right here. And then you just take your pliers or forceps or whatever you're using and simply bend it down so it's out of your way. If you don't bend that down, you're going to end up cutting your finger on it one, at one point. This is your jig right here. It's now hand tied. Nice and nice looking wraps on there. So and then you take your scissors, cut that collar off. Flip the jig back over. And now you got a hand tied. This one's an Ike's mini flip jig. 
Well, you can do this to any jig in your box that's not hand tied and save yourself some money because now they last forever. If you have a lot of jigs in your box, you know that occasionally you open up your box and those rubber collars are just completely worn out and you have skirt material hanging all over the place. This is the most permanent way to fix them. You can use uh, like zip ties or whatever you want on there, but this is the most permanent way and it also uh, gives you makes the skirt the tightest on the head gives you the most flare and once you learn how to do it it really only takes about 20 to 30 seconds per jig to do so but that's uh that's how you fix your skirt falling off